So, first question, Mas. If a equals 5 root square 2 and 2a equals to root square 2x, what is the value of x? So, ang goal natin sa question na to ay hanapin ang value ng x. So, unang-una, i-replace uh, natin ang a. So, 2a, i-input natin ang a. So, 2 times 5 root of 2 equals to root square of 2x. Next, i-multiply natin ang 2 and 5 kasi parehas sila whole numbers. Pero, hindi, ka, hindi kaya natin multiply again the root square of, of 2 kasi ano, yung square root of 2 hindi whole number. So, ngayon, my 2 times square root of 2 equals the square root of 2x. Pero, paano ba natin i-multiply ang 2 square root 2? Ah, square, ah, 10 sa square root 2. Ang gagawin natin, it, ano, ipalit natin para ang 10 ay square root of 100. Kasi square root of 100 is 10. So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-multiply ang square root of 100 sa square root of 2. At magiging square root of 200 equals to square root 2x. Para mawawala ang square root symbol, square, both sides. Para okay. magiging 200 equals to 2x. Ngayon, wala na yung square root, wala na yung exponents. We divide both sides by 2. Yes. So, divide both sides by 2. X is 100. Here? Okay. Sandali. Ina-admit ko lahat ng mga... Okay. So, clear ba yung first question? Okay. So, next... Question. For what value of n is absolute value n minus 1 plus 1 equal to a null set or equal to an empty set? Itong symbol na to, ibig sabihin empty set. So, itong question na to ang galing sa SAT math. Kasi pansin ko, ang SAT math is good preparation kasi mahirap yung math nila. So first, let's, uh, yung trick na ginagamit ko, you always write the question down. So, we have absolute n minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. Pero, ang gusto natin ay absolute value lang. Yun lang yung uh, kailangan natin. Absolute value. So, paano pa mawawala ang plus 1? So, para mawala ang plus 1, minus 1 on both sides. So, that becomes n minus, absolute value of n minus 1 equals to negative 1. Pero, no absolute value will give you a negative number. Therefore, yung n, walang value. So, the answer is, n has no value. Malino ba ang discussion? Okay, next. What is 70% of 2, 5? Ayun, uh, basic JHS math. So first, i-convert natin ang 70% sa fraction para i-multiply ang 70% na fraction sa 2 over 5. So that becomes 70 over 100 kasi percent is out of 100 multiplied by 2 over 5. Now, when you multiply fractions, i-multiply mo diretso na as in. So, nagiging 140 over 500, simplify mo, divide both sides by 10, 14 divided over 50, and then make it a percent form, 28 over 100, kasi both sides times. So, that becomes 0 0.28. Wala ba? Wala po sound. Naririnig niyo ba ako? Okay. Okay, kasi may, may nasabi na walang sound. Okay, so, uh, next question. 
Ah, ito. Dami nagsabi sa akin na mahirap yung question na to. So, convert the decimal degree, 156.72, to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Pero sana mag-inig ka pa. Ah, guys, ano, pamute lahat ng mic para mas malinaw ang discussion. Para hindi tayo magkakaroon ng technical difficulties. Pakimute lahat, please. Yan. Okay. So, convert the decimal degrees 156 to 742 degrees, minutes and seconds. So, first, ito yung rule. To find, oh my God, to find the degrees, use the whole number. So, automatically, ang degrees ay 156. Yun na yung degrees mo. Next, to find the minutes, my God. To find the minutes, multiply the decimal portion by 60. Kasi in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So multiply the decimal portion, which is 0 0.742, by 60. So 0 0.742 times 60 is 44.52. The whole number will be the minutes. So, ano, hayaan nyo na yung, for, yung 0.52. Kailangan lang natin yung whole number, which is 44. So since 44 is the whole number, yun na ang minutes mo. To find the seconds, multiply the new decimal, which is 0 0.52. Wala na yung 7, 0 0.742. Yung 0 0.52 and multiply the new decimal by 60. Kasi one minute is 60 seconds. So multiply by 60. So, 0 0.52 times 60 is 31.2. So, ayun na naman, whole number is the seconds. So, the whole number is a second. So, wala na tayong pakialam sa 0.2. So, the final answer is 156 degrees, 44 minutes, and 31 seconds. Okay? Nagigets niya ba? Okay. Next question. Convert 300 degrees to its equivalent radian. Okay. So, converting degrees to radian, actually, may formula dito. May formula palagi. So, to find radians, you do degrees times pi over 180. So, we take the degrees, 300 times pi over 180. So, magiging 300 pi over 180. So, isimplify natin, kasi pwede pa natin isimplify, divide both sides by 10, 30 pi over 18. Pwede pa natin isimplify. Divide both sides by 6, so, magiging 5 pi over 3. Malinaw? Okay. Next. Sino ba nagsusulat sa, uh, sa board, guys? Wag naman, ah. Miss, patanggal po yung blue lines. Guys, wag nyo naman magsulat sa sa board. Yun. Patanggal na, guys. Sino ba yun? Okay. Next question. Solve 3x minus 8 cube. Ito. When cubing binomials, may formula dito. Tandaan nyo to kasi walang formula sa sets, guys. Walang formula sa sets. So, cubing binomials, a plus b cube equals to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Tandaan nyo to ah. Walang formula talaga sa sets natin. So, ang a natin ay ang unang term which is 3. Ang b natin ay ang pangalawang term which is 8. So, i-input natin sa formula. Magiging 
3x cubed plus 3 times 3x squared times minus 8 plus 3 times 3x times minus 8 squared plus minus 8 cubed. Next, uh, gawin natin muna ang exponents. So, 3x cubed is 27x cubed plus 3. 3x squared is 9x squared times minus 8 plus 3 times 3x plus minus 8 squared is, ano to? Minus 8 squared is 64. Plus minus 8 cubed, which is negative 512. Ma'am, 5? Yes, 8. My, a, pero ano? Ito ang formula na ginagamit nila palagi. 8 plus b cubed. Ito ang talagang formula. So, hindi naman siya magbabago. So, ay, ano yari? Hala. Sandali lang. Wait. Ano yari? Ayun. Sorry, guys. Hmm? So my, guys, ano ba nangyayari? Wait lang, guys, ha? Kasi... Wait. Guys, anong nakikita nyo ngayon? Wait. Ayun, sorry. Nagkaroon na kami ng technical difficulties. Kaya guys, please, ano, wag kayo, ano, wag kayo, ano, gamitin ng whiteboard. Wag kayong, pero nakikita yun naman ng, ano, nakikita nyo naman ang discussion, di ba? So, nasan tayo? Okay. So, ngayon, tinapos na natin ng exponents, di ba? Para wala na exponents. So, 27x cubed, plus 3, 9x squared, minus 8, times 3, times 3x, times 64, minus 512. Ngayon, kailangan lang i-multiply lahat. So, so, magiging 27x cubed, minus 216x squared, plus 576x, minus 512. So, ayun na ang final answer. Ma'am, yung solution po pang positive, pero yung given is A minus B. Ano? Yung sol... Yung solution na to, formula siya. Formula. Ito ang palaging ginagamit. Wala po shortcut. Ito talaga ang shortcut, guys, actually. Kasi kung gagawin mo, 3x minus 8 times 3x minus 8 times 3x minus 8, mas mahaba yun. Kaya, mas maganda ang formula. Kahit positive siya, pero ang problem ay negative. Ito talaga ang formula. Okay, next question. In the geometric sequence, x, x square, x cubed, what is the common ratio? Ito, mas simple to. So, oops. x to x square is x times x. x square to x cubed is x square times x, which is x cubed. So, ang common ratio ay... X. Yun ang common ratio. Yes, guys. Dapat alam nyo yung formulas, ang shortcuts, kasi sobrang time-pressured ang sets natin. Napaka-time-pressured siya. Okay, next. Ah, ito. If 1 over 27 to the power of 2B equals to 81 to the power of negative B to the power of negative 3, what is the value of B? So, first, Sulat natin. So, actually, ang ginawa ko dito, para mawawala ang fraction, we do the reciprocate. So, ang reciprocate, basically, ang denominator, magiging, num magiging numerator siya. At ang 1, magiging exponent. So, magiging 27 to the power of negative 1. Ito ang reciprocate ng fraction version. 
Andyan pa yung 2B. Tapos, ang exponent form ng, 30, ng 81, kasi may exponent na dito, dapat may exponent rin dito, is 3 to the 4th power. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. Tapos, andyan pa ang minus B, minus 3. Next. I-convert natin ang 27 sa exponent form ulit. So, magiging 3 to the 3 uh, times negative cube times 2b equals to 3 times the fourth power times negative b times negative 3. Cancel both bases kasi parehas sila 3. So, mawawala ang 3, mawawala ang 3. So, magiging negative 3 times negative times 2b equals to 4 times negative b times negative 3. So, wala nang bases kasi pwede nyo ay cancel kapag parehas lang. Hindi pwede kung sa kanan, 4, sa kaliwa, 5. Bawal yun. Basta magkaparehas ang bases, pwede nyo i-cancel. So, expand. So, magiging minus 6b equals to minus 12b. So, what is the value of b? b ang hinahanap natin, di ba? So, divide negative 12 by negative 6. So, b is 2. Malinaw? Ano po tawag dyan sa problem? Um, yung problem na to, uh, part of algebra. Al algebra siya, guys. STEM student ako, guys. Yeah. At ang alam ko, ang mga math sa sets, puro STEM math. Kaya ito ang ginagamit ko sa top exam. STEM math. So sa mga STEM dyan, ito ang math natin. Okay, next. Okay, if log if base of 8 times x squared minus 36 equals to 2, what is the value of x? So log, guys. Mahirap to. Dapat alam nyo ang formula kung paano mawawala ang log. So, ang, this is the set formula for log. Ito palagi. Log base of b times a equals to c, para mawawala ang log, magiging b to the power of c equals to a. So, okay. Ito ang b natin. Ito ang a. Ito ang buong x squared minus 36. Ito ang a. Ito ang c natin. So, log 8 times x squared minus 36 equals to 2. Para mawawala ang log, convert natin. So, this is our, ito ang b natin. Ito ang C at ito ang A. So, magiging 8 square is 64 equals to X square minus 36. Next, move 36 sa kabila. Magiging 36 plus 64 which is 100. So, ang hinahanap natin ay... Ang hinahanap natin ay... Wait. X, di ba? So, para mawawala ang x square, square root both, x equals to plus minus negative 10. I wait. May, may issue ba sa kabilang question? Here? Yes po. Hmm. Ang dali lang. Minus b... Positive. Ay, sorry guys. Positive. Sorry. Positive siya. Positive siya. Sorry guys. Okay. So, uh, gets nyo naman kung paano mawawala ang log. Ito talaga ang formula. Dapat tandaan nyo to kasi wal wala talaga tayong formula sa set. So, ang importante talaga, maalala natin ang formulas. So, ito ang B, C, ang 8 ay B, ang 2 ay C, at ang X square minus 36 ay A. Okay? Sandali. Gusto ko makita yung chat kasi. <laughs> Saan yung chat? Ayun. So, dapat alala nyo to ng formula ha. Kasi wala, 
Kung wala tayong alam sa formula, mahihirapan talaga tayo sa mismong question. Okay. Next question. If r square plus 2r minus 33 equals 0, what is the value of r? To, medyo mahaba na to. So first, copy it down. Simple. r square plus 2r minus 33 equals 0. So, sino ba hindi alam ng completing the square? Sino ba hindi alam? Uh, Pakichat. Okay, so kapag completing the square, di ba, na-move natin ang 33 sa kabilang side. Tapos, bago mag, ano, so naging r square plus 2r equals to, ay, 2r equals to 33. Pero may kulang ng isa pa dito. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-complete the square. So, itong b, Para ma mahanap natin ang third space, b divided by 2, tas square natin. So in this case, 2 divided by 2 is 1, tas 1 square is 1. So kaya may 1 tayo dito, guys. So completing the square is b over 2 times square. Ah, square. That is completing the square. Dapat maalala niyo yun. B over 2 square is completing the square. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 1. Next. R square plus 2R plus 1 equals to 33 plus 1. Kasi may dagdag tayo ng 1 sa kaliwa. Dagdag rin tayo ng 1 sa kanan. So magiging 33 plus 1. Which be, and then, i-factor natin. So ito ang factored version. Factor. So, r plus 1 square equals to 34. Para mawawala ang square, square root, r plus 1 square equals to square root 34. r plus 1 equals to square root of 34. Ngayon, what is the value of r? Para malalaman natin kung ano ang r, ang r lang, i-move natin ang 1 sa kanan. Magiging negative 1 plus minus Square root of 34. Oops. Next. Factor x cubed minus 5x squared plus 9x minus 45. So, but Di ba nakalagay sa answer key? Ito ang sagot. Pero bakit? Kasi ang ginawa ko ay foil. Naalala niyo ang foil. So first, outer, inner, last. So magiging x, ay, mali. x cubed plus 9x minus 5x squared minus 45. Tapos i-arrange natin according to proper uh, rules. x cubed minus 5x squared kasi cube squared tas x ang sunod. Plus 9x minus 45. Parehas ang, parehas ang expansion, parehas din dito. So kaya ito ang sagot. Okay, uh, i-clarify ko na lang dito guys kung bakit may plus 1 dito. Kasi may rule sa math na kung anong gagawin dito sa kaliwa, gawin mo rin dito sa kanan. Kaya may plus 1 dito, may plus 1 din dito. Kung plus 1, kung plus 3 sa kaliwa, plus 3 din sa kanan. Paano po siya kukunin? Okay, kasi ito ang technique. Pareho lang po nun transpose. Uh -oh. Okay, so yes, it is the addition property of equality. Yes. What you do to the left, you do to the right. Puun ang number 11. Actually guys, yung technique ko sa number 11, ini isa isahin ko ang bawat choice. Kasi dyan ka malalaman talaga kung ano yung tamang sagot. So kapag na-expand mo ang bawat choice, malalaman mo kung 
parehas ang expansion sa sagot. Okay. Foil method. Malala nyo yun. First out, inner last. Next. Which of the following statements below is always true? An obtuse angle has a complement. A straight angle has a complement. The complement of an angle is an acute angle. And the complement of an angle is an obtuse angle. Okay. So, first of all, ano ba yung complement? Ano ba yun, miss? Complement or complementary angle are angles that add up to 19 degrees. So, 91, hindi na yun complementary. 18... 89 plus 1, complementary angles na yun. So, tingnan natin ang bawat statement. An obtuse angle has a complement. So, an obtuse angle, greater than 90 na siya. Ay. Greater than 90. So, kung greater than 90, hindi siya complementary angle. So, automatically, mali na. A straight angle has a complement. Ang straight angle ay 180 degrees. So, automatically, hindi na rin siya complementary angle. So, yes, mali. The complement of an acute angle is an acute angle. So, tingnan natin. Kunin natin ng dalawang acute angle. So, 32 plus 58, which is 90 degrees. Pare, pare sila, acute, which is less than 90, and Nag-adopt sila sa 90. So, tama to. The complement of an acute angle is an obtuse angle. Kung acute, alimbawa, 25. Pero ang obtuse, 95, greater than 90 na yun. So, hindi na pwede. So, ang tamang sagot ay, the complement of an acute angle is an acute angle. Next. Evaluate cost 225. Ayun, sa sets, wala tayong calculator. So, dapat maalala natin kung ano yung trigonomic functions by heart. Dapat alam natin yun. Okay. So, first, find the reference angle of 225. Pero miss, paano ba kukunin ng reference angle? So, ang reference angle ay 220 minus 180, which is 45. And ang alam natin, ang cos 45 ay root square 2 over 2. So, kung positive sa 45, ibig sabihin, negative sa 225. Kasi, reference angle niya to. Kaya, ang sagot ay negative square root of 2 over 2. Dapat alam natin ang basic trigonomic functions. Kasi wala tayong calculator sa sets. Next. If negative 3x square, yes, unit circle yun guys. Memorize. Mahirap talaga ang unit circle. Pero kung alam mo ang basic trigonomic functions, uh, hindi kayo mahirapan talaga. So, if Negative 3x squared plus 24x equals to 27. What is the value of x? Ayun. So first, divide both sides by 3. Kasi lahat to multiples of 3. So magiging x squared my, ah, by negative 3 para mawawala ang negative sign na to. So magiging x squared minus 8x equals to minus 9. Tapos, i-move natin sa kaliwa para equal to 0. So, magiging 8 square, x, x square, minus 8x plus 9 equals to 0. Ayun. Guys, na-memorize niyo ba yung formula na to? Quadratic formula? x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Palagi may questions na, na involved ang quadratic formula, guys. So, dapat ma- Maalala nyo yung formula na to. Guys, ang advice ko kapag dating sa sets, kapag alam nyo ang formulas, mas useful yun kesa sa paano mag-solve ng bawat question. Mas importante ang formula talaga. So, quadratic function na to. So, A, first term, B, C. So, 
Ipot natin. So, ang B natin, copy natin. So, magiging minus 8 plus minus square root of minus 8 square minus 4 times 1 times 9. Kasi, di ba? Kung wala siyang term, ibig sabihin times 1 to. Times 1. Times 1. So, ang A natin ay 1 ngayon. Kasi wala siyang, wala siyang ibang constant. So, over 2 times 1. So, magiging 8 kasi negative and negative is positive plus minus square root of 64 kasi negative 8 square is 64 minus 4 times 1 times 9 which is 36. 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus 36 over 2 magiging 8 plus minus square root of 28 over 2 Tapos isimplify natin. 8 plus minus square root of 7 times 4, kasi 7 times 4 is 28, over 2. Magiging, ilabas natin ng 4. Lalabas kasi square root of 4 is 2. So, lumabas na ang 4, naging 2. So, 8 plus minus 2 over 7, 2 square root of 7 over 2. So, I-factor out natin ang 2. So, magiging 2 times 4 square root of 7 over 2. Tapos, cancel 2, 2. So, ang sagot ay 4 plus minus root square, square root of 7. Okay. How many ways can a group of 5 be chosen from a section with eight students. Bakit po if a factor out? Ah, kasi kung if a factor mo out, mawawala din ang bottom, ang denominator. Kasi ang ang goal ng sagot ay simplest, simplest form. So ang importante talaga ang factor, factoring out. So magiging four plus minus square root of seven. So, in how many ways can a group of five be chosen from a section with eight students? So, ito, combination. Ito ang formula ng combination. So, n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. Ito ang formula para sa combination. So, in how many ways can a group of five be chosen from a section with eight? So, 8 ang total, 5 ang kailangan mo. So, magiging 8 factorial over 8 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. So, 8 factorial, simplify natin, magiging 3 factorial times 5 factorial. So, magiging 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times, plus ang 3 factorial ay 3 times 2 times 1. Pero hindi ko na sinulat ang 1 kasi 3 times 2 times 1 is still the same. Tapos, 5 factorial. Next, i-cancel out natin ang 3 times 2, pati 6, kasi pareha sila. I-cancel out natin ang 5 factorial, pati 5 factorial. Tapos, ngayon lang kay ngayon na, ay 8 times 7. So, 8 times 7 is 56. So, ayun. Yun ang sagot. Next. Express 9 factorial. So, 9 factorial is basically 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, manual lahat to guys. Manual. So, kung manual multiplication, ang sagot mo ay 362,888. Uh, 80. Sorry. Next. What are the three... Arithmetic means between negative 12 and 36. So, ayun na naman. May formula na naman tayo, guys. Ang formula para magkaroon ang arithmetic means ay a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, itong habol natin, d, which is difference. So, negative 12 plus 1, 2, 3, Kasi 3 arithmetic means 36. So, sabihin natin, a sub 1 
A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, A sub 5. So, pwede na natin i-input ang values sa, sa formula. So, A sub n equals to, pwede natin gamitin ng A sub 5, which is, so, kung gagamitin natin ng 36, A sub 5 equals to A sub 1 plus n. Pero ang n ngayon ay 5 kasi gagamitin natin ang fifth term, 5 minus 1 times d. Ang d ay difference. Difference. So, a sub 5 or fifth term is 36 equals to a sub 1, negative 12 plus 5 minus 1, d. Ah, 5 minus 1, 4 plus times d. So, i-move natin sa kabila. 36 plus 12, so magiging 36 plus 12 equals to 4D. So 4D equals to 48. So ang D or difference, divide both sides by 4, is 12. So ayun na ang difference. So 12, minus 12 plus 12, 0. 0 plus 12, at uh, 12, 12 plus 12, 24, plus 24 plus 36, at uh, 24 plus 12 is 36. Saan makukuha yung test questions? Nag-post na ako ng link sa mock exam namin po. Okay. Question 18. Solve for D that when x cubed minus x squared plus dx plus 5 is Divided by x minus 5, there will be no remainder. So, sa akin lang ba, naglolo ha? Exit ng exit. Ay, sorry guys. Bakit? Ba't kayo nag exit ng exit? Okay. So, ang gagamitin natin dito ay uh, division of, uh, ano, quick division. So, naalala nyo? So, let's write it down. x cubed Minus x square plus dx plus 5. So, diba? Division of polynomials, quick version. So, x minus 5, ang divisor ay five, positive 5. Kasi, pag unstable net, nag-re-restart. Ate, chill lang po. Ay, sorry guys. Mabilis talaga ako mags magsalita. <laughs> okay. Dahan-dahan na. Okay. So, ang... <clears throat> Sorry. So first, i-divide natin. So, x cubed minus x square plus dx plus 5 divided by x minus 5. So first, nalaan nyo pa kung paano mag-divide ang polynomials. Nalaan nyo pa? Synthetic division. Yes. Yun talaga. Yun ang pinakamabilis na no, method, synthetic division. So, kung walang constant, ang ilalagay mo dito ay 1 minus 1 plus, kasi di natin alam, d plus 5. So, divided by 5 kasi kung negative dito, positive dito. So, let's try it. 1, bring down, times 5, 5. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Hmm. 4 times 5 is 20. Na, hindi siya magiging 20D. Kasi kung 20D, ibig sabihin 20 times D. Pero mali na yun. 20 plus D siya. Tapos 20 plus D times 5, i-multiply mo. So, 5 times 20 is 100. D times 5 is 5D. So, magiging 105 plus 5D. So, Paano ba natin malalaman kung wala siyang remainder? So, 105 plus 5D dapat equate sa 0. So, magiging 5D equals to negative 105. So, divide both sides by 5. Magiging negative 21. So, dapat 
Solve for D. D is negative 21. Applicable po rin bo ang remainder theorem. Um, personally speaking, mas mahaba ang remainder theorem. Ang synthetic division, ito ang pinakamabilis na method. Lalo pa sa sets, guys, kasi uh, sino ba mag asset dito? Sino ba? Ang, ang asset, napaka-time-pressured yun. So, ang advice ko sa inyo, gamitin nyo ang pinakamabilis na formulas or methods. A-shape, yes. Actually, guys, yung kaibigan ko, nag-A-shape siya at sobrang time-pressured ang A-shape at asset. So, ang synthetic division, mas... Eh, sorry. Dahan-dahan. Okay. So, <laughs> ang synthetic division, mas mabilis compared sa remainder theorem. So, ito ang advice ko. Lalo pa sa mga time-pressured sets. Upkat rin. Time-pressured siya. So, what is the next number in this portion of the Fibonacci sequence? So, actually, ang Fibonacci sequence ay very, very um, common. So, ang ibig sabihin sa Upload ngayon next mga advice formula po. Sige, I will. So, ang Fibonacci sequence, ibig sabihin, the first and the second term equal the, to the next term. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. So, ano ang next number? So, ang gagawin mo lang, 8 plus 13, which is, ay, 21. So, yun. Add last two terms. So, 13 plus 21 is 34. Tapos, ano, it, ano, pasunod-sunod na lang. So, 21 plus 34, 55. 55 plus 34, 89. Tapos, pasunod ng pasunod. Plus palagi ang first and ay walang formula. It's just yung term before plus the next term. So, one, so kung ito ang first term mo, i-add mo lang sa second term. I-add mo lang sa susunod na term. Wala siyang formula. Hindi ko makita kung nasan test questions. Ang test questions ay nasa mock exam link na na-upload ko last week ata, mga few days ago. Okay. What is the midpoint between the points 12,3 and 8,9? 8, 8, so, midpoint formula. Midpoint formula ay... So, i-label natin muna. So, itong x, x1, y1. Kasi, first x-coordinate, second, ah, first y-coordinate. Itong x2, ibig sabihin second y-coordinate, pangalawang, at itong pangalawang y-coordinate. So, ang midpoint formula ay x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So, i-input lang natin ang x1 and x2 and y1 and y2. So, magiging 12 plus 8 divided by 2. And then, y1, 3 plus 9 divided by 2. So, magiging 20 divided by 2 at 12 divided by 2, which is 10,6. So, ito na ang midpoint mo. So, dapat alam nyo ang formula na to, midpoint formula. Hanggang anong number po? Actually, guys, ito na ang last number ng math. Any questions, lalo pa sa math or kung gusto nyo na ma-discuss ako ng ibang subjects?
Science number one. Ah, science number one. Okay. Wait lang. So, tigil ka munang share. So, Science number one. Pabalik po sa previous page. Anong page? Okay. Lahat po. <laughs> page? Anong page? Pabalik sa previous page. Ito ba? Yung midpoint? Eight? Okay. Eight. Sandali lang guys. Oh, pabalik ng pabalik. Okay. Okay. Okay na po pala. Salamat sa nag-send ng na-screen nerd na ba kanina? Yes, nag-screen record ako. Don't worry guys, ano, i-upload ko rin ang mga, ang presentation na to. Thank you po, link ng test question. Ayan na yung link. Form minus. Okay, wait. Maraming sana. You're welcome. Okay. So, ito actually, guys. Nagkamalid pala ako. Actually, ano po name nyo? Secret joke. Pero ate lang. Kasi nahihiya ako. <laughs> Don't worry guys. i upload ko rin. May... Okay. Wait. Parang nagkamali ako dito guys sa number 8. <laughs> Nalilito ako. Okay. You're welcome. Don't worry. Paano, mo mamal Paano po malalaman kung permutation po or combination yung problem? Ah! Okay. Where are you from ate? I'm from... Paranyake. <laughs> Ang permutation kasi at combin... Ah, bleh. Sorry. <laughs> Combination. Ang tinuro nila sa amin sa school is... Ano? <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Wait lang, ha? <laughs> Combination kasi... How to tell the difference between combination and permutation. Ang permutation kasi, kailangan yon ng order. So, dapat order 1, order 2, order 3. Combination, random. Di mo talaga alam. Kaya, ano, saan yung question na yun? Ano pong tinate yung set? Uh, Magtitake pa ako, asset, upcut, dikat, ustet. Pati... Lasal das Marinas. So, ham so nag-review center po kayo. Hindi po ako nag-review center. So, how many ways can a group of 5 be chosen? So hindi naman sinab nakasabi na specific 5, basta random. Kung random combination, kung kailangan ng order or kailangan ng specifics permutation. Combined like times po ato yung number 8 kasi parehas po sila may B. Yes, guys, sa 8, nagkamali po ako. So, combined like terms po sila. Nagkamali po ako sa number 8. <laughs> Incoming grade 12 lang po kayo. Yeah, Actually, guys, um, wag kayo magalit, pero grade 11 lang ako. <laughs> grade 11 lang ako. STEM student, Kaya dam, dami kong alam sa math. Pero wag nyo, ano, ay, salamat. Don't worry, may sources naman yung notes ko. Palagi naman may research. So, lahat ng, na, lahat ng notes ko, guys, ay double-check. Na-double-check yung mga teachers ko. So, wow, what school? Secret. Bakal. Ano ba ang bakal, guys? <laughs> Basic Cal. Ah! Basic Cal! Sige, pwede, pwede. Gusto nyo ng mock, mock test ng Basic Cal. 
Okay. So, pwede ako magkaroon ad sa mga need ng study group. Gusto niyo ba, guys, magkaroon tayo ng study group? Ah, patu- ah turo muna, tas... Ah, okay. Turo muna, tas mock test. Okay, guys. So, ito na lang gagawin ko. Um, gawa ko ng study group sa page. Sali kayo. Tas, mag-upload mag- ako ng lessons para accessible sa lahat. Tas, mag-upload ako Pagkata- mag-upload ako ng mock test tas discussion. So, ito, ito ang order, ha? So, group, recordings, lectures, tapos mock test. Okay na yun sa'yo? Okay na yun sa inyo? Thank you po. Walang ano man, walang ano man. nag enjoy naman ako, guys. Kasi, dapat lahat tayo papasa. Hindi naman, kasi ang review center, ang alam ko, sobrang mahal. Ako nga, hindi ako nag-review center. So, Ang page na to talaga ay para sa lahat. So, may ibang questions ba kayo? Yes, guys. Grade 11 lang po. Okay. <laughs> Wag, sana hindi ko yung magagalit. <laughs> okay. Kaboses mo pa si Ate Christine Samson. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, ang gagawin ko, Gawa ko ng group sa, para sa pre-calc. Ano, Dream Univ? Ateneo! Sana. Pati health sciences. Kasi gusto ko talaga maging doktor. You sound unfamiliar with Tagalog. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Lahat tayo papasa. Lahat tayo. Okay. So, sino mag ateneo Baka makikita tayo. Mamove ba sets this year? Actually, di ko rin alam. Di ko talaga alam. Baka mamove. Mukha talaga mamove. You sound unfamiliar with the Tagalog diction. <laughs> okay. So, let's go Arneo. <laughs> okay, guys. Salamat. At, ano, hanggang sa muli. Thank you. End ko na. Thank you, Pop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.